Hey, what's up? Hello and welcome. My name is Maya and I'm Maya the Simmer. Today we have an episode of our Hunter Baby Challenge. We have a few things planned. The most important is getting, oh my goodness, Samira. Nice. The most important is getting the triplets aged up and getting their character values up. Well, at least Zara and Zora. I am so happy that you guys like the triplets still and you guys really seem to like Zara in the comments, which I'm excited about. Um, I'm also excited to get them to teens so we can see what their next trait is going to be. They have school, so they should head there. Um, girl, you are not supposed to be like that. When you come home, you're gonna clean that up. All right, good. The kids are all off to school. Um, Samira is going to make herself a salad. She does have a wedding coming up, so yeah, I'm gonna have her working out and just getting fit so she can look her best for her wedding. I'm excited for that. But let's have her cook a salad. I'm glad you guys like Takim because I'm going to have him move in this episode. But we're going to move him in as soon as Yuri moves out. Yuri should be an A today. He did a project, his homework. His skill is to three, so we should be good with that. It was also suggested to me that we should make Hakim a potion of youth so Samira can live happily ever after with him, which I do think we should do. So I do want to get... Who's coming? Oh, the maid. I do want to get sarai to make a potion of immortality i did get her some ingredients but i don't think i got the right ones um she can make the potion of emotional stability i like that but what does she need for potion of immortality oh we need sage mandrake morcubus and diamond okay let's see if we can order anything on the computer to help us all right we can get some diamonds for that I'm gonna get three just because I don't know if she's gonna mess up. I'm trying to see if she's getting any of the necessary like magical things. I had her order the magical plants. Okay, we have a mandrake now, which is good. We also have sage, which I think we need. Let me see what else we're missing for the potion. Oh, we can do potion of nimble mind. That's good. That lets you get skills quickly. We only need morcubus. Where did, what is that? Where do you get that from? I think we're gonna travel to the magic realm and see if we can get that last thing, which is Morcubus. Oh, we need to recharge the power. That's annoying. I guess we'll wait. Um, for now, you can experiment. Actually, you can make some potions of Nimble Mind because we can use that. Hopefully we don't like knock her out this time. I feel like every episode I knock this poor girl out. I think it's ready. Yes, bottle all up. Please. Why is it saying it's mac and cheese? It's not mac and cheese. Don't be mac and cheese in my inventory. Oh my goodness. It's mac and cheese in there. I just brewed a potion of nimble mind though. Right? That's so stupid. Okay. Brew potion of nimble mind. Let's try this one more time. At least we have some food. Let's put that in the fridge. All right, the kids are home from school and they got projects. Okay, and Yuri's an A student. We can age him up. Let's see if he's responsible. He is. Okay, let's see if we have a cake now for him and see if we can age him up. Okay, we have a lot of cakes. Oh, and this one has candles, perfect. So come over here and blow out candles, little Yuri. Happy birthday, little Yuri. Okay, Yuri's going to be erratic are you kidding me are you kidding me okay all right you know it's fine it's fine yuri it is add birthday candles please let's get our picture with him all right let's get our picture with yuri so we can move him out all right it's time to say goodbye to our little yuri all right so we're back in the house samir is helping with homework good they finished their homework oh my goodness i keep seeing kids i haven't seen in a while i don't know if that's flora or fauna oh it's flora oh wow hey all right good they're getting their responsibility up oh did you end up finishing this potion out here i told you guys she mourns her all the time Bottle up all of these, please. After you girls are done, you're hungry, Zara, so come get some food. And then we can have you start working on your project before bed. 
you're hungry as well so you come get some food oh my goodness yuri is already back how oh she's so sad but please give him a residence key oh she's coming in here to meet flora yeah give her a friendly introduction because that helps with manners Aww. all right how about you come out here though and work on one of these projects actually no you got one in your inventory so work on that one instead and then you also got a project you can start on oh he's in here playing dolls that's so cute but how about you get some leftovers Zephaniah, and then we'll start you on your project too that way tomorrow when i want them to actually complete it to get the extra credit it's already almost done you know it's no harm in getting it started at least all right good the girls are working on their projects getting that responsibility up yes we love to see it we love to see it and then we have to work on your empathy too your empathy is much higher oh and your responsibility is finally getting back up all right i think it's time to send the kids to bed enough of the project or oh, you have to use the bathroom and then we'll send you to bed you love you can eat and then go to sleep i guess everyone we're going to send to bed so we'll pick back up in the morning i'm trying to get their empathy as up as much as i can because i know they can't play with this as teens so yeah i want to get that up um after she's done with this though she's going to go eat they are so cute <laughs> Aww. i love this he's almost there though there he goes level four with his motor all right you can stop that use the bathroom take your shower get ready for the day oh you also need some breakfast so get some leftovers as well little zephaniah good you're doing the dishes which is going to bring up your manners you can also brush your teeth for responsibility all right so rise up she became a virtuoso so we can use her talent points um i don't know what i would want for her mm, maybe a magical resonance and also potent potables Ooh, incredible forager and experimenter there we go all right, so right, let's have you make some more potions for us. Let's do Nimble Mine until we can get Morcubus. I looked it up. Morcubus is actually a, like a collectible doll that you have to get. So we're going to keep checking the mail for, um, I believe when I looked it up, it said you can get it from like those little treasure chest boxes thingies that they send. I guess you can get it from there. So we'll do that. It's eight o'clock, kids. Time for school. So stop what the doctor said, head off to school, little ones. Aw, they're in such a great mood. They should be B students by the time they get home. We're also going to go to the magic realm. We should be able to go today to see if they have more kibis at the magic realm. They said sometimes you can get it there. Also, I'm gonna see if we can dig around with Sarai today. I mean, we don't have much to do because the kids are off at school. All right, it seems to be done. So let's bottle all up. And Samira has collected everything from the mailbox. So let's see if she was able to get um, any treasure chest this time. Nah, just looks like a whole bunch of seed packets. Nothing too good. All right, maybe next time, but we can go to the magic realm now. I think we should start by looking for some collectibles. Oh, there's some mandrakes, so we can harvest all of those. Oh, we can look for some frogs here. Oh, more frogs. Oh, we can dig this. All right, I think that's everything. All right, what frog was that? She found one eggplant frog and one spotted eggplant frog. All right, cool. Maybe we can breed some frogs. I know that some potions were involve uh some frogs so we can do that as well right, let's get some more frogs we got a spotted leaf and an eggplant whirl frog yeah we're definitely breeding some frogs for sure let's breed the eggplant whirl with the spotted leaf Ooh, it gave us another whirl frog nice we can sell that one. Oh, we dug up a capsule yeah that's what you need to get to get the morcubus as a capsule so let's open it up what is this is this oh no none of them is a morcubus morcubus we got a elmera clamp and a dr f okay uh no morcubus all right let's go through these portals and see if we can get anything through there so let's go to caster's alley 
Ooh, something to dig here. So let's dig for treasure using the treasure map. I don't see anything else. Let's see if there's anything we can buy from these shops. Oh, we got another capsule. Yes. Okay, let's see. They have a hopper. Nothing else. We'll try again tomorrow. All right, we opened it up. What did we get? We got a violet and a goth boy. Still no Morcubus. Ugh, are you kidding me? All right, well, let's go back through here and we'll see if we can get anything at the dueling grounds. Oh, and the kids are B students. Nice. All right, we're going to have to go home so they can work on homework, but I just want to check um, the dueling grounds first. All right, I already see some things we can dig, so nice. Let's dig that up. That's probably the only thing we can dig. Yeah, I don't see anything else. I think that's it. Oh, all we found was a fossil. Great, we don't need a fossil. All right, um, but let's head home then. All right, that was a productive little search. We got some things, but not everything we need. You're starving, so let's get you some leftovers. All right, kids, time for homework, extra credit, all the fun stuff, and we need to finish up some projects, so do homework. Wow, Samir lost so much weight already. That's crazy. You couldn't tell she had 40-something kids. You could not tell. Nice. Zora finished her extra credit. She's going to go in here and eat, and then she's going to play doctor before bed just to get that empathy up. All right, good. Zephaniah finished his project as well. Nice, nice. Zara's done as well. Zara's almost in range for responsibility already. Nice. And then we only have manners and empathy for her. Zora, your responsibility needs some work, but your empathy is actually pretty high, which is good. All right, Zara, time to head to bed. And we will pick back up in the morning. Um, You guys, come look at this. I know our daughter is not sneaking in here to come eat us. <gasps> this is Trinity, by the way. Trinity really came in here and took... What did she do to Samira? Trinity! I'm sending you home. I don't know what you think you're doing to me. I birthed you. I raised you. How dare you? Get out of here. Oh my goodness. Mesmerized. Can't move. No! Her own daughter is doing this to her. Her own daughter is biting her. Are you kidding me? Like, come look at this. She's really eating her own mom. After everything we done did for this girl, she's really came over here to eat us. I can't believe this. Oh my goodness, that's awful. Recently bitten. And she's going to be uncomfortable for 24 hours because of this. I just, I, I'm not understanding why she thought to come in here and do this to her mom. Oh my goodness, I've never had this happen to me before. Wow. That is awful. I'm going to get the kids up because I want them to do their extra credit before school. So yeah, might as well get up now. Oh, this is cute. When you give heartfelt compliments, it boosts their manners, which I love. All right, Zephaniah finished his extra credit. He's going to go eat his breakfast and get ready for school. Yes, Zora's done with her extra credit as well. Yes, Zara's in range for responsibility already. One trait down. Two more to go for her. Oh, her empathy is so low. <sighs> but her manners are high. Zara is working on her manners now by cleaning up before school. And then we're going to have her brush her teeth a bunch to get that responsibility up. She's teaching her to say please and thank you, which is kind of good. Um, but she's going to have to stop doing that so Zora can go to school. I forgot that uh, she can do that, but we'll do that when they get home. They should be A students when they get home too, which is great. Samira, please use the bathroom, eat some food, and then we'll have you go on a morning jog. Oh, why Samira? Samira is so uncomfortable. I still can't believe that Trinity really came over and bit her. For what? I don't know. Like, why would you do that to her? All right, I wonder if Sarai can head back to the magic realm already. 
Yes, we can. All right, let's travel to the magic realm. I don't think there's anything to dig today. I looked all around and it doesn't seem like anything is loaded up. So I think we're just going to go over to the uh, magic or the, what is it, caster's alley to see if we can buy a Morcubus today. Let's see. <gasps> Yes, 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 yes. Oh my goodness, buy all of them. Yes, 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 yes. We got it, yes. All right, go home, go home. I'm so happy, go home. Um, I'm not sure why the girls came home early and Yuri's calling. Yeah, go ahead and chat with Yuri. Girls, why? And they can't go back to school? Why are they here? Oh, wh whatever, they glitched home. No A for them, I guess. Um, but let's work on homework, I guess. I, I don't know. You know what? I don't know. Do homework. All right, you love. Let's see if you can finally make the potion. Hallelujah. We can brew the potion of immortality. Yes, go brew that thing. Yes, I'm so happy. They're in here doing their homework. How cute. Even though they're home early from school, but... As I said, I'm not in a rush to age them up because I kind of want to get those character values as high as we can. And look at that. Zephaniah is an A because Zephaniah stayed at school for the whole day and the girls didn't. That's so annoying. We're not going to age him up, but he can finish up his homework. All right. Did you finish the potion? You came in here to dance. Ooh, it looks like it's brewing. Okay, bottle all those up. I want to see how much we get. All right, you bottled them all up. Let's see how much you got. We have seven of them. Yes. Okay, so now we have the one that we can give to Hakeem. I also want to invite Hakeem over so Samira can ask him to be her boyfriend and maybe he can move in. So let's do that now. Okay, there he is. So let's um, go over here. Oh, he's so cute. How about we caress his cheeks? We're gonna get right to it. I mean, Samira already had a kid with him, so no, no, no need to be extra. We're gonna ask him to be our boyfriend and then ask him to move in. I want him to move in, so next episode, I feel like next episode is gonna be the finale of Samira's reign, kind of, um, because she is going to get married to this guy and I plan on getting the triplets to adults next episode. So that's when we'll end it off with Samira. But I want him to propose to her. So yes, their boyfriend and girlfriend. Yay. All right. And now let's ask him to move in. All right. Ask to join household. Oh, and we're not taking any of his money. No, I don't want any of his money. Minus 20,100. All right. I got to remember to get rid of that. And he is now in. Oh, he has work. Oh no, you're supposed to be at work. Go to work. Oh my goodness, he's level six in his career. Wow. All right, good. He's going to work. I don't count this as cheating because, all right, for a few things. First, let me get rid of the 20,000. There we go. Everything's back to normal with that. Now, I don't think it's cheating having him in the house for a few reasons. The first, okay, he can't go to work anymore. I guess not. And he does have skills. Okay, so he has comedy, comedy skill, fishing, handiness, painting, singing. Oh, he's a well-rounded well individual. I love that for him. Um, but I don't think it's cheating having Hakeem in the house because he does have a job, yes. But I plan on the next matriarch. We're only taking half of whatever Samira has in the bank. So whatever our money is, we're splitting it in half and giving it to the matriarch. And they're going to use that to build their house and get started. So um, any money he makes won't necessarily go towards the matriarch, if that makes sense, because we can technically take all of the money. I hope that makes sense. Um, but he's finally moved in the house with Samira and the kids. How cute. Um, did you do your extra credit? You didn't even finish your homework to start off with. So let's do that. You... Did you finish your homework? You did, but you need to do your extra credit. You, you can get up and get some leftovers. I'm pretty sure you still need to do your extra credit as well. Oh, Zephaniah is in range for responsibility. Perfect. Hakeem is going to go in and tuck in little Zora because she went to bed. Aw. That is so cute. I love that. I do. 
and maybe he can even help Zara with her homework. There she goes. Finished your extra credit, Zara. You're gonna do the dishes and then head to bed. And he has the galactic privateer aspiration. I feel bad for him. I'm not helping him out with that one. Instead, you're just gonna go to bed and we're not woohooing because you're not having any more kids with Samira. Mm -mm, no, no thank you. I have Zara up working on her um, character values. I have her setting the table now to work on manners, but she can't get to anything, of course. All right, that's bringing her manners up. Oh, actually a lot. Wow. Okay, afterwards then, maybe we can have you do this one. So set table with party setting. Do yellow. I don't know. Do something. And then she's going to brush her teeth for some responsibility. She still has to do her extra credit too, so she's going to do that. Yeah. You need to catch up to uh, your sister because she already has a responsibility and she's about to have her manners as well. She just needs to work on her empathy. Next episode, we're gonna focus on the volunteering to get their empathy up too, cause they should be teens after today, which I'm excited about. And she finished her extra credit, which is great. She just needs to brush her teeth a few more times to get her responsibility up. Actually, you love, you got enough sleep. Did you do your extra credit? You did, okay. So just play with the doctor set to get your empathy up. Yes, Zara is in range for manners now. Yes, 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 yes. Great, she only has her empathy to work on for next episode. You, are you almost there with your responsibility? Did that not get your responsibility up? Oh my goodness, you're almost there. When you get back home, we'll finish off your responsibility. All right, the kids are gonna be home soon, so I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have her make cakes for the kids. Um, because yeah, they're about to age up. We're about to get them as teens. I can't believe it. And Samira looks so freaking good. Like, look at her. Oh, I love her. Samira's gonna come and bake the cake for the kids. They should be home any second. We're gonna make them a nice tiered cake. How sweet is that? You might actually make them um, all their separate cake, but we'll do tiered for all of them. I wonder, can you add birthday candles to the tiered cake? I wanna see. Oh yes, nice. Zara's back in range. Zora's in range for responsibility. Grades are up. They're finally A students. Yes. Are they all A students? A student, A student, and A student. Okay, good. So Samara's finishing up the cake. While she's doing that, I guess the girls can um, work on their empathy. Okay, the tiered cake is made. It's so cute. Add birthday candles. Oh, that's so cute. All right, yeah, we're gonna make them all their own. So come in here, Samira, and make another one. All right, Hakim is home. He needs to use the bathroom. I wanted him to be here for the birthdays anyway, so good thing he's here. Oh my goodness, we got the notification that it's almost Samira's birthday. All right, so I wanted to talk about that. Should we give her the immortality potion before her birthday so that she stays an adult forever? Or do you want her to be an elder forever? And Zora got good manners. Oh my goodness, yes. That means she only has empathy too. So they're both in range for two traits, which is great. They both only have empathy left, which is great. Um, so that's all we have to focus on next episode for them. Ha, oh, so happy. But back to Samira. Samira has um, only one more day left, or two days left, actually. So should we give her her mortality potion now as an adult? Or do you guys want her to be an elder forever? Like, you know, an old little grandma. I kind of want to be... To I kind of want her to be an elder because I would see Samira in her like elderly phase. I would love to see that. I think she'll be like a cool looking elder. But let me know. Uh, you guys get to decide elder or adult that we give her her immortality potion. Um, but yeah, she's just finishing up this last cake for us. And then we get to age up the triplets and then bring them into create a sim. Ooh, I am so excited. What I'm going to do before next episode, I'm going to give all the triplets potions of plentiful needs when they're um, teenagers. That way we can work on their skills and their project and their extra credit and homework and all that and their just everything so they can age up tomorrow, which is Friday. Um, because I want um, them to have an A before Friday. That way, if we get them their character values over the weekend, we can age them up on Sunday, which is when I plan on doing the wedding. I think that'll be a perfect way to end the first season of our 100 Baby Challenge. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. We finished the last cake. 
So we're going to have them all age up. All right, it's time to come blow out these candles. Ooh, I'm so excited. They all get to age up together, our little triplets. <sighs> I can't believe they're already aging up. Zora's going first, it seems like. Oh, they're all gonna go at it at the same time. Happy birthday, triplets. Happy birthday now, Zara and Zephaniah. All of them. Oh, how cute. All right, let's see Zora's second trait. Oh, she's a geek. That's so cute. All right, let's see what her aspiration is going to be. All right, she got nine, which is location. And she got three, which is beach life. Huh, okay. Interesting, interesting. All right, Zara aged up. Let's see Zara's second trait. Oh, she got active. Okay, let's see her aspiration. She got three, which is creativity, and she got five, which is painter extraordinaire. Okay, Zephaniah aged up. Let's see his last trait, or second one, paranoid. Okay, Zephaniah, let's get him uh, aspiration. He got 10, cereal. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Nice. Gifts are all sent to them. We have ourselves some teens. Let's bring them into Create a Sim so we can get a look at them. All right, let's start with Zephaniah, as always. He already looks like Samira. Let's take all this off. Yup, Samira's face. Through and through. That is Samira's whole face. He's so cute, though. I love him. I do. I love him dearly. Let's give him his hair back. I love him. All right, let's put his skin detail back on. This is the one he had as a kid, but now that he's a teen, we can look at different ones. Ooh, I really like this one. Yes, let's give him this one. Let's switch it up a little bit. And let's give him some eyelashes. He's so cute. So cute. All right, but this is Zephaniah's face as always, um, or at, like the other two times, I'm only gonna show you their face and then I'll do their outfits off camera, but let's go to Zora next. All right, so here is Zora. Oh, she's so pretty. Let's take all this off and this makeup up. And oh my goodness, she is beautiful in this hair. Her face is so pretty. Oh my goodness. She looks so good. Let's look at a skin detail for her. I love her. This is the one her brother has. I really like that one. Yes, oh my goodness, gorgeous. She is gorgeous. I can't believe she got geek and music lover in beach life. I'm excited to get their lash traits in, but let's get their hair on. I think now that they're teens, we're gonna do the longer version of their hair, which is this one. And she had this color, I believe. Oh my goodness. You guys. You guys. She is stunning. Oh my goodness. But this is Zora's face. This is what she looks like so far. We're going to do her um, outfits afterwards, of course. But she is gorgeous. All right. We're now we're on to Zara. Let's take these off. Oh my goodness. She looks so innocent so innocent but she's so cute oh my goodness i'm gonna give her the same hair as her sister of course oh my goodness i didn't even put a skin detail on her yet they are both so gorgeous you guys said if we choose zara that maybe i should do the purple eyes and just switch her eye colors since i like zora's eyes so much but i don't know zara's eyes are growing on me now definitely Goodness. they are so gorgeous like i can't i can't we got blessed with two girls that are gorgeous i like both their traits so far i know like i can do nice stories for both of them um but that's crazy crazy all right i'm gonna do their outfits off camera and then i'm gonna show you the finished look all right so i'm finished with the makeovers here is Zephaniah's Everyday. I went with a more relaxed look for him. 
um, because he is active. Had to give him a formal because, you know, Samira's gonna get married soon. I might change this though. Athletic, sleep, party, swim, hot, and cold. A very relaxed look for Zephaniah. Here is Zora, and I'm obsessed with Zora. Everything about Zora. I really wanted to fit the Sulani beach theme in, but also I wanted to give her like a 70s style. I really been into that aesthetic lately, so Zora got that style and I love it. But here's her every day. For her formal look, I gave uh, Zara the same dress, but in a different color, because I thought it would be cute if they're matching, but this is her formal athletic sleep party swim hot and cold i hope you like zora i really really love her style um and i think it fits her traits fairly well for zara i wanted to give her also a relaxed look sort of like her brother but she's artistic and athletic at the same time um so and she's plus she's adventurous but i dressed her i don't know i kind of dressed her the same as when she was younger with the overall theme but I don't know. Let me know what you think of Zara. But here's her everyday formal. So as you can see, it's the same dress as um, Zora. Thought it was cute. Athletic. Sleep. Party. I love her party outfit. Swim. Hot. And cold. Uh, let me know what you think of all of the makeovers. Who was your favorite aesthetic or style? And we're going to head back into the game. As you can see... They are swept up in the moment, so we're going to have Hakeem propose to Samira, and that's how we'll end the episode off, because next episode, I plan on it being the last episode for Samira's generation. You guys, I'm so sad, but if everything goes to plan, right now is Thursday, I'm going to give the triplets potions of plentiful needs. And I am going, oh, he's proposing. And I'm going to have them work on school and stuff. Oh, is she going to say yes? She did. You guys, Samir is getting married next episode. Um, but I'm going to have the triplets work on their skills and everything to get an A on Friday. The wedding should be on Sunday, which I'm excited. Um, next episode, we should also be able to age up the triplets and figure out their last traits. Um, and then you guys will be able to vote on who you want to be the next matriarch. I am so excited. I already have a venue lot and everything set for Samira's wedding. So I'm excited for that. And um, let me know what you think of today's episode down in the comments below. And if you're excited for the season finale of our 100 Baby Challenge, um, let me know down in the comments below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye now. Bye.